Welcome to this tutorial of Product Import Export with Excel. In this video, I will show you how to import variable products for WooCommerce with multiple variations and different prices stock number for each variation. Let's get it started. First thing you need to build your Excel file in the correct format. Go to import page of our plugin and select the variable product sample Excel file. Download it and open it. We've built for you a sample for better explanation on how things work. Let's test our Excel file. In our example, we'll be inserting one variable product with two variations. The variations will be created by the columns PA size and PA color. We use PA in the labels of these Excel columns because later, our plugin can detect those namings and automats Excel columns with product fields. But we'll see that later. At this point I need to make clear that what you need to do first is to have already created the attributes names for your products. Let's see how we do this. Navigate to Products link in WordPress, then to Attributes and create yours. Here is a sample in our localhost. Ok, once your Excel is ready, go to Import screen and upload your Excel file. Once Excel is uploaded, next step is the Mapping screen. In the Mapping screen, product fields are detected along with taxonomies and custom fields. You just need to simply drag and drop the Excel fields to product fields. See how this works. Another easier way to do this is to use Automat's Columns feature. What this feature does, as I mentioned before, is that if your Excel label is the same with the product field name, it will detect that in Automat. This is why we name the label for the title of our product as Post Title, as this is the naming convention for WordPress. So, let's continue with importing our product. Press Upload. And there you go. Let's see our product view screen now. As you can see, our product is created along with the different variations. Its variation has its unique prices, description, image, stock numbers. So, this was the process. As you can see, it's quite simple and does not require any special skills. This was our tutorial of how to import variable products with different multiple variations. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you need any extra information or interested in other features, visit www.extendp.com. Thank you for watching.